Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Do you know how tall you are? You might be four feet and two inches, or maybe three feet and ten inches, or maybe you know your height in centimeters. Maybe you are 129 centimeters tall. It can be fun to see how much we grow each year, but there are lots of other things that we can measure too. You might need to measure the length of a picture to find the perfect picture frame. Or perhaps you're helping a parent build a mighty fence in the backyard and need to measure how long the fence needs to be. Or maybe when you're in the backyard, you find a really cool looking bug and you want to find out how long it is. Let's try measuring some things in the backyard. Oh, look, there's some nails over here from a fence that's being built. Let's see how long one nail is. Before we see how long the nail is though, we need to make sure we have the ruler set up correctly. This is an inch ruler. Some rulers have a zero mark on them. This one just starts at one. So that means you need to line up the nail with the very, very edge of the ruler. Uh, see how one end of the nail is perfectly aligned with the edge of the ruler? That means you'll get an accurate measurement. Now. See where the nail ends on the ruler? It ends at the number four. And this means that the nail is four inches long. Nice work. What do you say we try measuring this stick one of the dogs brought over? This looks like it's too long for just a 12 inch ruler. So we're gonna measure this on the meter stick. A meter stick is one meter long and each marking is a centimeter. The stick is perfectly lined up with the edge of the meter stick. That's the first thing to check. Now, let's see where the stick ends. Uh-huh, it looks like the stick ends at the number 38. This means that the stick is 38 centimeters long. Good measuring. And let's try just one more. This is a really cool rock, don't you think? We can use the inch ruler for this one. Oh, this one's gonna be a little tricky to line up though. Make sure the farthest edge of the rock is lined up with the edge of the ruler. Now, look to the other side of the rock. Make sure that you're measuring the furthest point of that side. And this rock is six inches long. Nice job making sure the rock was aligned and figuring out how long it is. We've definitely talked about how important it is to make sure you line up what you're measuring with the ruler correctly. Now let's take a look at some other objects and see if they are ready to be measured. Can you tell me which of these objects are lined up and ready to be measured? Let's look at them one by one. We can start with the screw. Here you can see that one side of the screw is aligned with the left side of the ruler. So it's ready to be measured, and you can see that it's three inches long. And now let's look at the pencil. Uh-oh, it looks like this pencil is not aligned. It starts at the three inch mark, not on the edge. But luckily, we can just move it. And now that the pencil is aligned, we can see that it is seven inches long. Next up, let's measure the wood plank. Now this is being measured on a meter stick and the left side is perfectly aligned and we can see that the plank is 46 centimeters long. Nice. And we save the best for last, a dog bone that a pup dug up. Now this one isn't aligned. It starts at the five inch mark. So let's move it over and then we can measure it. Now that it's aligned, we can see that the dog bone is seven inches long. Whew, that was a lot of measuring. But you did a great job today. You measured all sorts of things in the backyard. We learned that one of the most important parts of measuring is making sure that the object is lined up all the way to the left. Or if there's a zero mark on the measuring tool, we can align the object with that mark. Then we could see where the object ended on the measuring tool, making sure that we are looking at the farthest point on the end of the object. We used both a ruler and a meter stick today. And we'll be using some more measuring tools soon. I hope to see you in the next video.